while the modern cheat codes are now mostly locked behind a paywall, thank you EA, there was a point when these button combinations to godliness were commonplace. But what's less known in the world of gaming was from the late 80s to the early 90s, there was a bizarre underground craze from crafty codies to make these pokes as offensive as humanly possible. Now this was nearly entirely exclusive to the home computer world, mainly due to console manufacturers being far more restrictive in their policing. In fact, the only even remotely offensive cheat code I could find for a console game was for the PS1 game Destruction Derby 2 with its Max Harpoo code, which unlocked all tracks in the game. Yeah, you really showed Apple with that one, guys. Stick it to the man! But hello you! I'm Guru Larry, and I welcome you to Fact Hunt, Top 5 Offensive Cheat Codes. CJ the Elephant was Codemaster's short-lived attempt at a mascot other than a hard-boiled egg wearing punching gloves, but they decided to put all their efforts into creating the character and none into the game itself, as evident by the fact it's a complete and utter rip-off of the New Zealand story. However, we're not here to talk about plagiarism, as if I've not done that enough already in video topics. We're here to talk about rude cheat codes, and this one appears in the Commodore 64 version of the game. To receive infinite lives, either go to the title screen or the high score table and simply type in Hairy Assholes. I'm none the wiser on if pachyderms actually do have an overabundance of follicles around their sphincter because, you know, I'm not a vet. But apparently this code also works on the Amiga and ST versions of the game too. Though, I couldn't be bothered to check. Long before they had a license to print money with their Grand Theft Auto series, actually, before they had a license to print money with their Lemmings series, come to think of it, DMA Design was trying their hands at the side scrolling shoot em up genre, such as with Menace for the Atari ST, Amiga, Commodore 64, and PC. It seems a bit of a Marmite game for them, as scores were all over the place, ranging from 90% from ST Amiga format to 49% from Zap64. So you can see why they ended up essentially cloning Mr. Heli for their next shoot em up blood money. Anyhow, this cheat code, which will max out your supply of shields, cannons and lasers, works on both the Commodore 64 and Amiga versions of the game, and all you have to do is type in XR3i Turbo Nutter Bastard. All while the game is being played, no pausing whatsoever. DMA obviously thought it would be funny for you to type in such a convoluted and rude message all while playing a pretty tough game at the same time. Needless to say, even though the game did only ever sell 20,000 copies, with their further success, I bet they all eventually enjoyed those illustrious fuel-injected 80s Ford Escorts mentioned in the cheat. You deserve them, boys. By far the most offensive game on our list in its own right, Viz the Computer Game has nothing to do with the American manga publisher, but a well-loved British adult comedy comic. It's also renowned for influencing the sense of humour of a lot of British comedies and modern day comedians. Don't ask me who though, this is the internet, a place where you don't have to provide evidence of your claims for them to still be true. Anyhow. Probe, best known for developing all the Sega versions of Mortal Kombat 1, decided to use the comics then three biggest characters, Biffa Bacon, Johnny Fartpants and Buster Gonagd, and stick them in a racing game. It was a bit on the short side, but it was immensely fun, and one of the few examples of a non-vehicle based racing game. But if it wasn't short enough, Probe decided to put in a rather rude cheat code that allowed you to skip levels. To activate it, all you need to do is go to the character select screen and type in What a large set of bollocks. Whether this is a reference to Buster Gonad and his unfeasibly large testicles, or the fact Probe didn't think the game was very good, we may never know. Until somebody asks one and develops.
The New Zealand Story, a game that keeps cropping up in Fact Hunt episodes. In fact, I even mentioned it earlier in this very same video. But I said it once, and I'll say it again. It was incredibly popular over here in the UK, and is pretty much regarded as the Super Mario 3 of British home computers for some reason. I guess Kiwis that resemble baby chickens just have universal appeal to 80s British schoolchildren. However, its overly cute persona didn't stop one of the naughty Cody's at Ocean from sneaking out a rather rude cheat code into the Amiga version of the game. To skip levels and receive infinite lives, simply go to the title screen and type in Motherfucking Kiwi Bastards. You know, for a kid's game. Well, at least they were respectable enough to purposely misspell fucking. However, this only works for the full price retail version of the game. The code was obviously put in without Ocean's knowledge nor consent, as in the budget re-release of the New Zealand story, the code was changed to the far more mundane Fluffy Kiwis, which I can't find anything even remotely funny to retort with. My only solace is that the motherfucking Kiwi Bastards version ended up being accidentally bundled for free with nearly every single Amiga A500 for over five years, much to Ocean's embarrassment. Now that's one gaming mistake you certainly never hear about. I have to make the note of that for a future fact hunt episode. Oh! And as always, I've saved the best till last. And where else could I even possibly put the all out king of offensive cheat code games? Team 17's original alien breed for the Commodore Amiga. A game with not just one, but an entire cornucopia of triggering tricks. For those of you who have never heard of this series, imagine Gauntlet meets Doom, with a heavy inspirational dose of the Aliens franchise, and you have yourself alien breed. I never really got on with it personally, mainly as all top down shooters pretty much played like arse until the advent of Twin Sticks, but it did receive a cult following nonetheless. Now, like I said, there's quite a few cheat codes to this game, which are all performed by logging into the Intex computer on level 2, and they range from the humorous, such as typing in US Gold to reset your score to zero, a joke on how US Gold games are often given low scores by magazines, PC Emulator to make all the computers useless in the game, ST Emulator to give the game rubbish graphics, I've been on the Courier game to make a farting noise whenever you fire your gun, and I can't be asked to play the first levels to skip to level 3. Then we have codes with swearing in them, such as Give me power you poxy fuckwit to give player 1 50,000 credits. Let me sponge some cash you twat to do the same for player 2. And I eat pit balls for fucking breakfast mate for 7 lives for player 1. Downright crude, entering I wonder if Dolly Parton's fanny is as big as her tits lets you skip to level 5. For those of you non anglophiles out there, fanny means vagina in the UK. And the good lord said let there be flap shots, more British slang for vagina, which lets you skip to level 4. Blimey governor, look at the size of his John Thomas. British slang for a penis this time, which awards you infinite energy for player 2. And finally, pass the buckos knob face, for infinite door keys for player 2. There's also politically offensive cheat codes, such as typing in Stevie Wonder makes the screen turn black, as, you know, he's blind. Salman Rushdie plays Alien Breed to make the player's sprites invisible. Um, Salman Rushdie being the author of the Islamic offensive book The Satanic Verses, who went into hiding after a fatwa was placed on his head, which is still in place to this day. Ben Johnson trained these aliens to make the aliens lightning quick. Ben Johnson being the disgraced Canadian sprinter who had his Olympic medals and world records revoked for drug doping. And to skip to level 6, type in Man United Can't Fly Airplanes, which is a rather horrid reference to the 1958 Munich plane crash which claimed the lives of 23 people, including 8 of their players. To finally, the all out king of offensive codes for this game, to make aliens run away from you, type in Aliens are faggots. And you know what? All these cheats were freely posted in magazines at the time. Every single one in this video, completely verbatim. And nobody cared. Not a single complaint was ever received. Of course, I'm judging these codes by today's sensibilities. But even back in 1991, these weren't exactly the most socially acceptable of phrases. 
Hello you. Thanks for watching this episode. Fax Hunt is now back in full speed, so be sure to subscribe to see the next episode coming very soon. But in the meantime, have a butchers at the old episodes, and if you're feeling super awesome, check out my Patreon to help support the show. But thanks for watching peoples, and I'll be seeing you next time.